I guess let's check on this piece of crap. Sure stinks like it's working. Oh yeah. Wow. Just turns it into like gum. Awesome. That is pretty cool. I would have been here forever with that other stuff. Don't want to get that much in there because I got to clean that out somehow. Wow, oh, I didn't get any on here, did I? Oh, cool. Wow. Picked up. I think I covered the covered the valves finally because I knew this was gonna take a while. All right, I kind of hit it with the toothbrush, and I think it's about as good as it's gonna be. I threw away those other rags. I'm gonna try to wipe it down and see if I can get it good to paint. Because at some point, I need that paint to be dry and go back on the car so I can move. It. All right, unless I want to just try to move it, take the valve cover off, which would probably be fine as long as I don't rev it up too much. But explode by mixing them. buy more carb cleaner before those parts show up, those carburetor parts probably. Also gotta clean the inside of this guy too. Well, it's pretty clean I guess. I just hope there's not a bunch of crap up in this. See all these little holes? Where the crankcase ventilation stuff, it, you get positive pressure in here and then it comes out this hole and goes back into your intake. It's supposed to be like a PCV valve, but I don't know if this has one or if it just ducted right in there. But I'm hoping that I didn't get a bunch of that paint stripper crap uh, down in these holes where I can never get it out. I guess it'll eventually go into the intake and burn it, right? I just don't know what that would do if it mixed with motor oil. If it would like render it like, like a solvent and make it to where it doesn't work as good. I'm gonna take a break for a minute. Go see if I can figure out why the hell that happened. And then uh, I'll repaint it. If I'm doing something wrong, I'd like to know about it before I... I don't want to do this again. Well guys, I did a little research. It sounds like low humidity and high heat can cause it to wrinkle. Um, it can also be caused from not letting the, the layer underneath completely cure because it'll be trying to off-gas, especially enamel. will uh, It'll escape any way it can, whether you put paint over it or not. It can make pinholes or wrinkle. Um, that's why a lot of times you'll see, like, you either need to do additional coats within, on certain paints anyway, I'll say you got to do additional coats either within the first hour or you got to wait 48 hours, which I have never waited that long. But I'm just going off what I was reading. And the reason for that is because if you do it, you know, within the first hour, then the different layers are off-gassing relatively at the same stage, so they can work together and do that. Um, but if you wait longer than that, you'll have the underneath layer trying to off-gas, 
at different times than the, well, I don't know. I still don't really understand it, I because I've, I've done so much painting in my life, but I guess I don't do a lot of uh, enamel, so I think that's what the difference is, but I'm going to see, I mean, I'm painting this in the shade. I don't know what the temperature is right now at 95, but I know I've painted hotter than that before, so I, I don't know what to think. I'm just going to clean the piss out of this with alcohol and paint it and see what happens. If this wrinkles up again, I'm going to be really pissed though. And of course the wind kicks up right when I get this ready. I think I'm gonna get this inside the garage a little bit more. Wish me luck. I'll just do a, a thin coat like I did the other day. and hit it again. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, luckily, no wrinkles yet. So I need to take the Jeep. So I'm gonna, I moved it to the other side of the garage. So when I fire up the Jeep, hopefully it doesn't create a bunch of dust. And I don't know. We'll see if this wrinkles it or not. I just got back from the store and I'm not seeing any wrinkles so I'm probably not going to paint it any more than I have because I'm not really willing to deal with that again and it looks like we got pretty good coverage so just need to let it dry a little and then I'll uh, throw it back on. I need to move the samurai, but I really don't want to touch that yet. It's probably only been like an hour, and I really don't want to do anything but screw that up to where I have to do it again. And I know I'm gonna, if I put that high tack stuff on this uh, gasket here, then that means I'm gonna have to be touching the, the valve cover to, to do that. And I'd rather do it when the paint's fully dry, so I'm thinking about just starting this up and seeing how, uh, I don't think it'll fling a bunch of oil if I, if I just, like, idle it, and I can kind of idle it out and turn, you know, park it right here, but I guess we'll see. I'll try to fire it up, and, um, to do that, I just gotta hook up the spark plugs and then the throttle cable, and, uh, yeah, if it starts flinging oil everywhere, then I'll uh, figure something else out, but I'm going to give it a shot. I just know it'll turn out a lot better if I can if I can wait until tomorrow and then put it on. I think it'll work out much better. So, let's put this guy... finger tight because I will have to come back off. Okay, come on. Ah. 
Oh, I can't get this. Come on. Go in there, you son of a... Are you kidding me? Man, today I just I'm frustrated with so much different stuff today. Go in the hole. What in the hell? There, jeez. Ended up rotating at 180 degrees because it wouldn't. Oh, ridiculous. Okay, here's two. That one. One. That one. Last one, so it doesn't want to go in there. Just light a match to this damn thing. There we go. Yeah. See what happens without the valve cover, huh? Okay, here goes nothing. It doesn't fling oil. Oh. Yeah, it's flinging oil. Oh, son of a... <sighs> Well, at least we know the all this stuff's well lubricated. And then I don't know if this is creating a vacuum leak or why it's not wanting to run right, or if I got something hooked up wrong, or did these wrong, or I don't know. Well, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, I need more of this stuff. There's stuff out everywhere. That was all the way on. As you guys can see, it flung oil everywhere. And I sprayed some carb cleaner on some stuff, but it's still all over the place. <laughs> well, that was what I was afraid was going to happen. I guess I do need to put the valve cover on just to move it, because I don't want to make it... It'll be ten times worse than that, just trying to move it. 
and for whatever reason it doesn't seem to want to really idle and I don't know if that's I couldn't imagine that would be from the this little PCV thing or whatever so but maybe one of these wasn't all the way down so I don't know maybe I could put that plastic bag back over it I wonder if that would work Stupid idea if it works. I don't think it'll pinch the bag in between the rockers and stuff. I guess we'll find out. Okay, you guys scream if something catastrophic happens, alright? I do wrong here? Why doesn't it want to run? Well, that just spilled more oil all over the place, so. I wonder if I take some soapy water and just kind of spray it on there. I think there's a little, oh, I can't spray it there, that'll go in the valves. Spray it right there though. down there. Such a low concentration of soap, I don't know if it will even help. Hmm. Well, I'm starting to think that what me adjusting the valves, I mean, I think I did it correctly, but I'm starting to think it didn't like what I did. But I don't know what I did wrong. figure it out here. Okay, I'm a complete idiot. This is what I did wrong. This nut is still loose and you see my timing mark that I scratched in there? It's supposed to be right there. So that means, I think I have a 12 mil on me. That means that the timing was way, way off. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty lined up. All right, I bet she runs a lot better now. It'll probably still fling crap everywhere, but I'm just gonna fire it up. Actually, I'm gonna put the bag back on there and then fire it back up. So stupid. Can't believe I didn't see that right off the bat. Pinch nothing, I hope. Hopefully, it'll idle now.
Oh yeah, it's leaking all down the engine and stuff. Probably be on the ground. Oh yeah, all down the block. Oh yeah, it's all on the ground. Yep, dripping like crazy. Dripping all over the front diff. Well, I guess I should put some cardboard down, eh? But we got the... I mean, that was basically done in the last video. I don't get how that got so screwed up, but... Uh, still no wrinkles, so I think we're good on that. I had to repaint those, because even those were wrinkling. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean up that oil. And then uh, I'm just going to leave this on for tonight while the header... While the, valve cover dries to keep keep this clean and then uh never got around to painting the header or anything um now i get to i gotta paint all this stuff anyway so i guess it's not the end of the world um i would have had to clean it so it's just a lot of oil everywhere <laughs> box isn't big enough for one of you. What are y'all doing over here? You know that box is uh, a little small. Simba, are you comfortable? Or you just Did you just let her climb in there on top of you? He's pretty chill when it comes to her. He lets her do whatever. They're like a married couple. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Just pooping all over the place? Okay. Good job, guys. Hey, guys. It is the next day. We have to, until we get the valve cover back on, and I'm sure it's been leaking, like, continuing to drip oil all night, basically. Yeah, that box is pretty soaked. But anyway, um, until I get the valve cover on here, oh, I'm backed right into the tripod. I can't move the vehicles, so that is step one. Um, and I hope this thing looks good because there's no way I'm touching it with any more paint. I don't care how it looks, I'm not painting it again. But it looks like she looks pretty good. So that's nice. Only took three days. Okay. Well, I gotta find the gasket for this. Um, Here's the oil cap, and here's the deal for the breather. I don't know where that went, but I'll find it. Okay. First, I should probably see which direction this thing goes. It's kind of nice that it has these little T-shaped thingies that go in there. Yeah. That looks good. I don't know if it's perfectly symmetrical, like if you could put it the other way, if that would work. Probably. No. Okay, so it only goes one way. So it goes like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the schmutz. And I'll do that in a fast forward. Though. As you 
you're pulling it out of the container, you have to kind of like, oh, jeez, a little much. I was just talking to the neighbor's son. He's got one of those uh, new Ford Raptors, and uh, we were BSing about that, and then electric vehicles, and how they're not far enough along yet, and all kinds of problems and stuff. Anyway, I just took the alcohol and went around the gasket surface, cleaned it off real good, and I got I had oil all over the place in here. So anyway, I'm gonna drop that valve cover on now. All right, I'm trying to do this before my phone overheats. I just tried to get it in there with this rocker up. I, even with this over, it wouldn't go. So I cranked it until that rocker went down. It looks like now it might finally go. Oh. Now I'm dropping all the freaking bolts. And my backup phone, which is what I've been recording with this, you know, lately, it overheats real easy. And now I'm using my other phone and it just gave me the overheat warning. So hopefully it doesn't. Still about 11 degrees before top dead center. I don't know if you guys can see the oil burning off the header right here. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off because I want to paint those so I don't want them getting too hot. So this is what I came up with. I think I'm gonna use Comet and this pad. This stuff is kind of gritty so I'm hoping that that will clean the header good enough for me to paint. Um, but before I do that I wanted to show you guys something. If you don't have one of these you should definitely get one because it makes it so much easier not specifically on this but for other vehicles you can get air bubbles in the cooling system and it can cause you all kinds of problems um, so I bought one a while ago I'll just show you how it works real quick and because I do need to add a little bit of coolant that came out the other day they're fairly cheap I think I got this at Harbor Freight but if I can find it on like Amazon or something I'll put a link um, they come with different kinds of tops to match up with your uh, your lid so it looks like that would probably be the one that we would need to use on here and let me just find the right one real quick and then I'll show you okay so I thought it was this one to match up to mine but it wasn't it was this guy and then you got a bunch of these guys and that fits in there snug and then after so it goes on there like that Deal. Goes right in there, and then you fill it. Let me show you. I'll probably do mostly water, uh, distilled water in mine. But anyway, the whole idea is get it, get the level really high. I'll show you. And then you run it. And with this higher than the whole rest of the cooling system, all the bubbles bleed out. And then when you're all said and done, 
You ready? Because you might be thinking like, well, how do you get that off without spilling it everywhere? You just take this plug, push it down in there. And then this comes off. And then you can put it back in your container, pull the plug out. So you drain it back in there and shouldn't have any spillage really. But um, I didn't have one of these forever. Oh my gosh. I've done a few vehicles. I want to say it was like one of those Plymouth. I can't remember, but some vehicles are extremely hard to get all the air out of. So those are so valuable to have. Oh, that looks like primer. Dang it. Not a lot of room to work with. It says eight to ten inches away. I'm about two. to dry. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the seat belt. Try to anyway. And I believe... Alright, so we know that this part has to go up top. So I'm just going to do that first. Too much Suzuki stuff. It goes in there. I think that's four number three. Get one or two in there. Have I lost them all? She looks, uh, sure. Okay. There she is, guys. 
like primer, doesn't it? Now the rest of it's still dirty from where I got the all that comet, like when I was brushing it off, kind of went got everywhere. But I still got to paint the whole inside of this. So, um, but anyways, in the last few days we've done the radiator. I did this yesterday, the fan shroud, the valve cover. That was easy, right? And then now the header. Um, I got to read the directions again, but yeah, I think. I think you're supposed to run it a couple times to cure it, kind of like baking it. But And then I'm going to sit in there, roll the window down, and put the seatbelt on so you guys can see what it looks like. Let me put this on the tripod real quick. Anyway, I'll try not to crash. <laughs> but how's it look? Does it look good? Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I have to house sit again this weekend. So, uh, not sure if I'll have another video out after these two. Um, but I will try. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content, you know, if you come back and watch multiple videos or whatever would you mind subscribing for me that would really help I think I only need 60 something more to get monetized and then that'll be like tens of dollars a month but uh <laughs> um anyway all right guys uh thank you again for watching and uh I hope you have a great weekend I'll see you very soon take care Well, that's cool. I just ran it, but I was also trying to adjust the idle and the timing and stuff. So I revved it a little bit, not anything crazy. And it looks like we're got some blisters already going on. Look at that. Hmm. Well, that sucks. At least the valve cover looks good.